Well, it's spring in Maine, and you know what that means. Rain, rain, rain. Today, I'm gonna to talk about three different water repellents that I have used, and what's my thought on them. Welcome to Two Camping Gurus. If you like camping in the great outdoors, you are in the right place. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and stick around to the end of this video so we can show you how you can get your free ebook and pre-trip checklist to make sure you and your rig are ready for the road. Now, let's get into today's content. And we're gonna be testing those out on the Real Deal hats. Today, what we're gonna do is put the water repellent, three different ones on three different hats here. Give you my impression. The first one we're going to use here is just a basic camp dry, uh, and it's performance fabric. It's a performance fabric protector, and it's good on all breathable materials. It says you can use it on coats, jackets, boots, uh, and things like that. We're going to use it on this hat here. So the proper way to apply this is to hold it about seven to ten inches away, do even coverage over the whole entire hat or article of clothing or whatever you're doing, and then it should let uh, be let dry at room temperature for an hour, and then reapply to make sure you have proper and good coverage. Obviously, it says the material should be clean and dry before you do this. All right, so that one is coated. All right, this is Camp Dry heavy duty and again it's effective on most breathable surfaces tarps tents boots clothing uh, things along those light nature it's pretty much the same but they're just saying this is more of a heavy duty one so we'll apply that to this one and see if there's any uh, difference application process is pretty much the same immediately this one smells a little bit different I think it has more silicone in it so that is that one. Yeah, it's definitely a stronger odor with that one for sure. You definitely want to use this stuff outside. All right, and last but not least, uh, this one here I'm familiar with by Atsco. They've been around since 1933. It's just a silicone water guard. Suede, leather, cotton canvas, nylon, and all synthetic fabrics. Heavy duty water repellent. So we're gonna go ahead and use that on this last hat here. This one does say to give it two or three shakes every 20 to 30 seconds while you're applying it to keep the mixture uh, proper in there so you get a good coverage of the, all of the ingredients. So that's an important note to make if you're using this particular one here. It's also a single application, so that's another benefit. Definitely goes on a little bit differently. It goes on a little heavier right off the bat. All right, so that is that one. Now that one definitely looks a lot wetter. It does seem to go on heavier right off the bat. Maybe that's why it's one application. Uh, we're gonna let these dry and then we will come back to them and see what we think of them. Not only did I let these set for an hour to dry, I did come back and reapply the two that were required a second application. So now we're ready to test it. So how are we gonna do that? Well, it's not raining out, but it is cloudy. I'm just gonna try, this is just plain old water. I'm just gonna spritz each one of these and see how it reacts. So the first one I'm gonna do is the standard camp dry which we put on my original hat so let's I'll hold this out here so it doesn't interfere or, or do anything with the other ones and hopefully you can see all right so that water is beating right up although I see it does soak in a little bit and this is just a, a light rain so it is beating up for the most part but it does look like the canvas itself is getting somewhat uh, wet, like the moisture is making it through the uh, protectant. So if it's just at a steady rain, now this is a very light rain. I mean, a lot of it is beating up and running off, but after several sprays, the canvas is changing color, which to me is an indication that moisture is getting through. Now, it's not wet at all on the inside and if anybody knows about canvas a lot of times if it's not wet it won't come through until you start touching it and then it will but it's still dry on the inside but I'm not sure so let's test out the other ones that one that's how that one's reacting next we're gonna do the camp dry heavy duty and that was Tracy's newest hat so we'll do the same thing well right away that's not even beating up really it just seems like it's soaking right into the hat now it's not looking wet on the inside, but you can see that that didn't beat up at all. To me, the canvas is getting wet, making it through. So I don't think that's as good of protection as the first one. Not wet on the inside, but you can see, even if I do very light, it starts to beat up, but then it soaks in as well. Okay, I'm not impressed with the Camp Dry Heavy Duty. Now, let's go and we're gonna test this one here, the 
Atsuko Silicone Water Guard. Let's see how that one works. Now that one is beating right up and the beads are running right off. Look at that, it's beating up and running right off of the hat. If I tap the hat, it'll probably all run off. Much better product. It's really soaking to it. The canvas is not changing color. Maybe a little bit on the corner here. It's sitting on top. Look at that. What a difference. Basically, the water shakes right off. In my opinion, and I'm not surprised because I have used this before uh, on several things and I've always been very happy with it. If you're looking to consider some water repellent for a canvas or other camping equipment, Camp Dry was not too bad. It did beat up. However, very quickly it started to soak in. There is still some beading, but it did soak in. Camp Dry Heavy Duty, I'm not impressed at all. It immediately was soaking into the hat with almost no beading, very little, if anything. And then this one here, the Atsco Silicone Water Guard, one application, worked fantastic. Very happy with it. So there you have it. If you're gonna waterproof something, pick some of this stuff up. I'll put a link for all three in the description, but I, you know, maybe you have better luck with this, but I definitely recommend this particular product here. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Hopefully you found something in this video that was helpful, useful, if nothing else, maybe we entertained you. And like I said at the beginning, you want that pre-trip checklist and ebook? You can go right down in the description, click on the link, it'll take you right over to it. Also, swing over to our website at twocampinggurus.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and as always, happy camping. We'll see you in the next video. Yeah, I'm just, I just can't believe the heavy duty performed worse than the basic one. Oh well. Now we just wait for the rain. I'm out of here.